All right, what is up? So, Ozzy Aquatics here, and today I'm kind of just gonna show you guys how to propagate your immersed Java fern that you've been growing in your tub for a while. So eventually, it's gonna get like this. You're gonna want more space. You're gonna want it to grow more. Maybe you want more Java fern. Never know. I've had this tub here. I did have some dirt in there, but it wasn't a good soil and it got all moldy, so I had to get rid of it. What we do have here is some indoor potting mix. And the reason we are using indoor potting mix is because it has a coconut, um, they put the like coconut fiber in here, so it's gonna hold water better for the job fern. Over here is just normal potting mix. You can use normal potting mix miracle Grow, but do not, I repeat, do not use a uh, gardening mix because the gardening mix it it's not good for holding water and it's going to grow mold super fast because there's way too much nutrients in there and the java ferns just are not absorbing that nutrients quickly enough so you're going to want to use this i have a more specialized because as the coconut fiber you can just use normal it won't have it, it won't retain water as well, but you get the point. So we are just gonna pour this in here. You're gonna want roughly two inches, an inch to two inches of uh, of mix in here. And I might, I might use this whole bag, I might not. Probably won't actually. Probably use about half of it, so that's good. I thought it was this whole thing. All right, so you can see this is kind of more, it's a softer, softer dirt, which is good because if it has too much nutrients, again, like I said, it's just gonna create mold. And this is also, it's gonna allow the plants roots to breathe better so they won't be suffocated. So let's see how much we got. We got about an inch and a half, which is kind of where you want to be, maybe slightly more. So we'll get another handful of this stuff. You don't need much to keep these plants. The Java Fern are pretty simple. To grow them immersed like this, all you need is some sort of tub with a lid to keep the humidity in there. And you will need some of this substrate. So we do have a bunch of Java Ferns here I'm going to dice them up. You might ask me, why am I dicing them up? They are too thick here. I need to thin it out. So I will be back in a second. All right, so we are back with some spliced up Java fruit pieces from our other thing. We did lose a few leaves. But always make sure you cut in between in the ribosome and don't cut any of these leaves off like I did. Um, that'll cause minimal damage. We also have some little baby saplings of java ferns from these dead leaves and don't discard your java fern leaves because the java fern leaves that's how they reproduce when a leaf dies leaf dies and it falls to the ground in nature in the water once it gets in the water it um it starts growing saplings on it and it does the same thing here this uh this leaf will copy its dna and spend the rest of its energy on making little baby saplings. So we're just gonna go ahead and plant this. Uh, you do wanna space them roughly a few inches apart. Here, these are a relatively easy plant. This looks like uh, whatever it's called, like the narrow leaf java fern, sword leaf. Some normal spliced pieces there, clippings. So you can do this with all java fern. Even these little baby plants, they'll start taking off if they're given a little while. And we have some bigger plants here, obviously, as well. Separate those. So you wanna make sure, though, that you don't overwater these or you're gonna get mold. You don't wanna put them too far apart. Otherwise, it's gonna take a really long time for them to grow in. You need to make sure that they have some space, otherwise they'll suffocate each other when competing for light. You are gonna need some sort of plant light. 
These won't do under normal light. I have a UV light type of deal set up for probably around like 10 to 12 hours a day. And it'll just go under these guys. They won't, this won't receive as much light because of the cover you put over it. And you also wanna make sure that your, your light has clearance from your cover, otherwise your cover might melt. So we don't have, we're not gonna plant this entire thing because we might plant some other plants in here. To start, you are gonna need some sort of spray bottle and you're gonna give these a good, like kind of like a hose down at the beginning. When you plant them, make sure you give them a lot of water. You don't wanna pour water in here, otherwise it's just gonna make mud and your plants are not gonna do well. So you're gonna do this for the first two to three days. It's gonna give them good moisture. See, they're, they're getting wet. This'll, this'll keep it fluffy and uh, aerated. Once you kind of get it up and going though, I found I don't really have to spray. I haven't sprayed the other container in close to two to three weeks now. It just kind of self-sustains itself. But um, knowing I did open it to splice some of these plants out of there, I am gonna need to uh, spray it up a little bit. So we will see how these do. This is a different type of dirt as mentioned. I would normally just use the, uh, the potting mix as kind of an experiment, but because of the coconut in here, I'm hoping it does better because it should retain water easier. So I am gonna yoink some soil from this, this other ecosystem that we have, just because it's already developed and it already has these critters that we want. All right, there's some springtails in there, so we'll just kind of sprinkle that in. If you don't know what springtails are, they're, they're the main thing that keeps the, the mold away. And hopefully we'll get some new colonies of springtails if they like this dirt. We do have different types of job for here actually as well. We do have, we have job for trident, which doesn't seem, it seems to do okay, uh, but definitely not as good as just like regular job. So we will also give this, move this box out of the way. We'll give this other box a good spray, a good mess down just because we've had it open for so long. Just like I was saying, make sure you you spray a good bit of water into the new into the new tank, into the new ecosystem. Because it needs it needs water, it needs to establish itself. The website will be up shortly. Uh, we will have these Java fern actually that you see here on the website as well as Anubis and other things, other fun stuff, lots of bow. So do this to, for the next two to three days because you do not want to overwater. Otherwise you will get mold. So we'll put the light here. So we got our setup over here. These are our two bins. We have more bins in a different area. So we do have a light right there. Covers these two bins pretty good. That's that. This is the really bad stuff you don't do not want to use that or you will regret it and that will be all